dear friends in this video we are going to see how to do a simple deployment using azure pipelines so we will be doing a sample sql script and we will be automatically deploying it to the database using azure pipelines azure pipelines is a part of azure devops which provide us automated deployment and releases using azure portal it is also called as continuous integration and continuous delivery which helps the developments and operations team to deploy the applications faster and clearer and without manual intervention so let us see how to do it so first now we will see how to log into devops portal to log into devops portal you have to type dev.azure.com once you log into this portal you will be seeing <coughs> on the left list of organization so what is an organization it's a group of projects each organization can have number of projects so in this devops window on the left you can see there are three organizations one of the organization here is shellish org and inside that there are two projects called ngrp test and shellish dk but regardless of this projects topic of the video is not about the project but actually how to do deployment okay so let's move ahead so now i am going to <coughs> the project and grp test okay and now we will go to pipelines and then releases so we are here creating a deployment a release pipeline to deploy a simple sql script to database earlier i have created a pipeline and also tried it you can see in this window there are a couple of releases which i have done but for the sake of demo i will be creating a new pipeline for you so here i will click on new and say new release pipeline okay so after that this window opens um there are two boxes here on the left you can see there is a box which called artifacts so what is this box this box with this box we will connect to the artifacts which are linked to this deployment it can be a script or a program or anything in our case let us say it's a sql file and this sql file is stored on github so let's connect to github and get that file here once you click here you will get multiple options to get the artifacts here i am using the option of github i already have a github account uh, where i have uh, stored the sql file i will also show that in a minute i am logging into github to show you that so here i am logged in as uh, my user which is shellish fc and i have created a repository here called as sql pp click here and you can see that there is a test sql file which is stored here <coughs> i will click on it it's a very simple sql file which is creating a table called as persons with five columns and inserting just a row inside the column so because i have created this table already in the database i am dropping the table before before i create it okay so let's connect from azure pipelines to this git repository to pull the sql file service as i told you shellish fc was uh, my git account 
click here. Now I will select the repository where this SQL file is stored. So we are getting some error here. Azure Pipelines link to endpoint has been uninstalled from the GitHub account. Okay. I think I have created it again with the GitHub connection too. This will work. This should work. And here you can see I have this thing called as SQL EP. That's it. And default branch master, default version that is from the default branch. And that's it. I will add. So in the artifact section, we have make a, made a connection to GitHub. So when this pipeline runs, it will automatically pull the SQL, the latest SQL file from the GitHub to be used in the next part of this pipeline, which is to deploy this SQL script onto the database. So I will add here, uh, add a stage. So there are various options available here, but let's, we need the SQL option. In the SQL also there are many options. Now, let's add a stage of job here say add new stage i will just take a empty job because i don't want to select anything from the below i will just take an empty job and then in this stage you can add a job i change job i am adding a job now so my requirement is to to sql deployment i will search here for sql So the last one is what we should select Azure SQL database deployment, which says deploy an Azure SQL database using DAC pack or run script using SQL CMD. Add it. And now we will have to fill up all the details regarding the database and subscription. I'm selecting a subscription here. SQL Server. Now we have to get the database details from Azure portal. I have already created a database in Azure portal. So I will log in there and I will show you how to get that. Just opening a new tab. Tab. To go to Azure portal, I will type portal.azure.com. In this Azure portal, I will go to databases. You can see here SQL databases. And you can see I already have here TestDB. So this is the name of the database. The name of the server is this one, testdbcrv.database.windows.net. And yes, so what do we want here? We want the SQL server name. So here you can get the SQL server name. I'll copy here and paste. What is the name of the database? Name of the database is testdb. Let's copy and paste. creation of database and the database server is not in the scope of this video. Login. So I will pause the video for a bit to enter the password. But before that, let me go for the next steps. So here we have to select deploy type as SQL script file because we are pulling the SQL script file from GitHub. SQL scripts. Let's select. It's already there in the artifacts like we have done in the last step. You will see it, it will automatically pull here. You will be able to see the script here. Select. Okay. Selected. Okay. I will pause the video for a while and then I will continue just after feeding the password. Okay. Now after that, I am 
back to the main job, which is agent job. And I'm going back to the pipeline. So we are ready to go now. So what we will be doing is now doing the deployment, doing the actual deployment. Let us see how, if it works. Let's click here and there is an option to deploy. So for that, we will have to click on create release. Artifacts, it has, it has already loaded. We don't have any trigger. We can just say uh, my first release. And click on create. So as soon as you click on create, it is created and it automatically starts running. So let's click on the release and here we'll be able to see the logs also. Click on logs and you will see the real time progress of the release. Okay, it looks like it is downloading the artifacts that is a SQL file. Now it is going to connect to database. It will run some commands internally and do that. Let's hope it works. Okay, seems like there is a problem. It cannot drop the table persons because it does not exist. So basically what we'll do, we will drop the stage. Let's make the change in the script and remove that stage because the table is not there. So I'm going back to GitHub. Yeah, so I'm removing this stage because of which we got the error. Edit. and commit the changes. Okay, let's try to run it again. Hopefully this time it works. So I'll click here, deploy, to deploy it again. Okay, okay. Great. Great. So all the stages succeeded now. Now let's go in the database and check whether the table has been created and the data has been inserted as per our SQL script. There is a feature here called as query editor by which we can quickly connect to the database. Okay, on the left, let's go into the tables to see if our table is available. Yes, the table is there. Let's select star from the table. And run the query. And you will see that the table exists and we have inserted one row here, last name and first name. So that means uh, the pipeline, the deployment was successful. And that's how it works. This was a very simple example. However, there are a lot of advanced things which can be done. But for the sake of your understanding, we have done this simple release deployment of SQL file into the database. For more documentation about Azure pipelines, you can Google for Microsoft documentation on uh, DevOps and uh, Azure pipelines to get further information. Thanks for watching.